Some seniors living in a San Jose mobile home park are celebrating a first of its kind deal. It lets them stay where they are and upgrade to new luxury condos when they get built. And that's not all. KPI X5's Len Ramirez at uh, Winchester Ranch Mobile Home Park with the sweetest part of the deal. Len? Well, that's right. You know, they do get to stay in their neighborhood. They get to move into a brand new condo and their rents will stay the same. Across the street from Santana Row and down the block from the mystery house, the Winchester Ranch Mobile Home Park sits in one of the priciest parts of San Jose. I am uh, an original owner. Mary Jo Pokriots has lived here for 40 years, but when the park was sold to a developer, Pulte Homes, she and about 100 other residents faced eviction and worse. You we, stayed up nights worrying about this? No, I didn't sleep at night. <laughs> but it was no laughing matter, according to the president of the Residents Association. People would be homeless. Most of the people who live here are on fixed incomes and can't afford San Jose rents, but wouldn't want to move away from family, doctors, and their community. So they banded together and worked three years with attorneys to get the first of its kind deal anywhere in the Bay Area. The significance of this agreement is that the residents at Winchester Ranch Mobile Home Park are going to be able to stay even though the park is being redeveloped. The agreement puts in writing that when the condos are built, current park tenants will get to rent one of them until they move out or die. And here's the best part. What we're paying today is what we'll be paying when it, we move into the condos. We did a lot of work to make sure that was ironclad. Rents will still be covered by a mobile home ordinance that keeps future rent increases to 3%. A spokesperson for Pulte confirmed the deal saying, by working in a collaborative process with residents, we create a win-win that allows us to bring much needed new housing to the city while ensuring current residents can remain in their neighborhood. The deal could be a model for the rest of the Bay Area where land values beneath mobile home parks is tempting owners to redevelop. It was pretty um, inspiring to see how the residents at this park really organized themselves, mobilized themselves, um, and, you know, really fought to ensure that they were going to stay in the community that they were living in. Now these new condos will be about 1,200 square feet. There'll be two bedroom units and they'll be flat. So a lot of the seniors will not have problems going up and down stairs, but they're still about a year away from start of construction. And during the construction phase, which will come over the next couple of years, uh, residents will have to move into temporary housing on this uh, site itself in other mobile homes than where they live now until the condos are developed and then they'll move into those. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX5. Little disruption, but so worth it. Good for them.